In front of me I have the CVO ST. Welcome back everyone to the channel. In front of me I have the CVO ST. I rode it yesterday, I'm gonna ride it later today. This is the, I guess your standard now so road glide that I uh, might ride, I might not ride, but it had, comes with a 117 throw cam in there and you're good if you wanna do that jazz. Now I'm on the CVO ST 2024 road glide model, you all. And I can tell you right now, let's, uh, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the uh, ergonomics. Um, I, I think there's nothing wrong with it. Again, I'm 180 pounds, five foot eight with a 32 inch inseam, and I'm really comfortable. This, this single seat here is comfortable, like comfortable. I don't think um, you're gonna have to replace this uh, seat unless you want a two up seat or something, but, it, but this seat right here by itself in its stock configuration, man, I like it, I like it. But then again, my CBO 2019 CBLs, it still has a stock seat and it's comfortable too. So it might be a CBO thing, but man, it's a nice seat. I like it, it's comfortable, right? So, so my bottom is nice and comfortable. Now my feet positioning and my, uh, my hands up here and the bars, my feet positioning, I, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I just feel like I'm sitting on the sofa, man. I'm comfortable in terms of my feet, my knees as well. Now, in terms of the bars, I like the the bar setup. It's uh, for a, again for a stock configuration without having to spend, you know, six, seven, eight hundred bucks on the bars and getting them installed. These bars are just fine, y'all. These bars are just fine. You could just get on this and go. Like it's fine. So put it like this: if I if I flew into uh, DC again or wherever, and I bought this motorcycle in this color because this is the color I like, um, I would uh, just get on it and um, and I would just leave. <laughs> like I wouldn't have to worry about getting it uh, fitted for me. I think just how it is from the factory, it's nice. So ergonomics, a big plus. Okay, now let's talk about performance. I can't really speak on the performance of it, but uh, but uh, it feels like it has some good performance, right? Like it feels like it has some giddy up and go. Now I'm not sure how the dyno map is, where uh, where it kind of peaks up and then peaks down. Maybe that's up to I don't know 4,500 RPM, 5K. I'm not sure, but you know I'm sure it has uh, some kind of dip. But again, this is in a on a stock harley configuration without doing anything to it now in terms of the handling man i like it it's uh it's very easy to manage yeah it's it's on the bigger bike side but man I, it's really easy to manage in my opinion you know no matter what size of rider you are you know so uh like i said i can easily flat foot this like no problem let's talk about the suspension it is good i like it it has um, a lot of flexibility it's very responsive where you want it to be responsive. And what I mean is like, for example, I'm cruising here. I'm just gonna open it up. You do dip back a little bit, but for a stock configuration, yo. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's where those reservoirs come in play. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, dude, like it's it's no problem there with the suspension. I like it. I'm sure there's ways to adjust it to your body weight or whatever. But honestly, if I, if I came to the dealership and I gave them a check for this motorcycle right now, I, I wouldn't do anything to the suspension, right? Um, and I and I wouldn't do anything to the seat, and I wouldn't do anything to the floorboards, and I wouldn't do anything to the bars. So just like that, I'm already saving, you know, to my speed, to my style. I don't know, three thousand dollars, thirty-five hundred bucks, just like that, if not four. Um, now the exhaust. Let's talk about the exhaust note. Obviously, you know, there's EPA emissions that they have to deal with and everything, but the exhaust sounds you know for us again a stock configuration the exhaust sounds good man i don't you know it's a little muffly you know but i mean it has to be muffly it's stock but i mean it's it sounds good honestly the lowrider st stock muffler doesn't sound that bad either so um now let's uh let's do our neutral test right and what i call the neutral test is when you stop you put it in first gear or you're in first gear and then you put it in second gear well I'm not gonna be able to do that on this time around, but I will do it later. But the last time I did it, it was able to go into uh, neutral, no problem. So, all right, let's test this uh, cornering handling here. Oh yeah, it just dips right in. Yep, it's responsive. It's definitely responsive. Uh, engine heat, does it get hot? 
right now i don't feel any heat in between my legs i don't feel not one bit of heat in between the, my legs and it's um i want to say 80 degrees right now and we're just going slow going down and we're just pretty much in i guess you know in town traffic so if it would get hot it would be in these condi conditions but yeah okay so now let's try the neutral test right and what i mean is when you stop when you're at a full stop feet on the ground you have the clutch in it's in first gear and you put it into neutral wow it just went right in it just went right in guys i like that <laughs> it just went right into neutral so it passes the neutral test if you will okay yeah guys it has it has get up and go you all it has get up and go again for a stock configuration so full disclosure i wasn't impressed with the motorcycle yesterday that I, I, I test rode this motorcycle yesterday and i really wasn't impressed with this performance i'll be honest with y'all but today the motorcycle feels different so it feels more respons yeah it feels more responsive it like hooks kind of stuff so i'm gonna say <laughs> that yesterday i probably had it in a in the wrong mode you know like rain mode or something but today it feels a lot more responsive. I want to I want to say that it's it feels like it was kind of like in rain mode um, yesterday or something or a different mode because today it just feels a lot more responsive for a stock configuration, you know. Because yesterday it felt a little a little like oh I don't know if this is worth it, you know, the forty two thousand dollar price tag. So, but today it feels really good. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It feels very responsive and uh, and I like it. So I'm gonna end the video with this. Like, man, look, I'm just cruising. We're going at highway speeds and I am comfortable. Let me tell you, I am comfortable just how it's coming from the factory. And I'm pretty happy with the throttle response. I'm not gonna lie to you. I like it a lot. <laughs> like, you know, this might be in my future later on, but I don't know. We'll just, you know, take it day by day. So I just have a, a, a thing about buying the first year models of anything. So if I would buy an ST, CBO ST, at the earliest it would be next year once they work out some bugs and uh and if not you know 26 so but i mean right now i like this motorcycle it's nice so if you're in the market for something like this that with these kind of ergonomics and you don't want to spend a lot of money upgrading it you might you, this is going to be uh, uh definitely on top of your list guys you know what i'm saying um because it fits all the needs now also um i think this bike's going to turn so far the one thing i would change on this motorcycle would be the ba -ba 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 exhaust i would get a, a exhaust that's that's louder that we can get a little bit more performance out of maybe the air intake so basically what i'm trying to say is maybe a, a harley davidson stage one kit if they have one here for this motorcycle but if not i'll just do the the, the regular screaming eagle uh, little tune that they have and uh and the exhaust uh just switch out to a, the exhaust to uh, to one that i like and that's it man so anyhow that's it for today's video y'all be good please don't forget to like this video you all like this video share and subscribe peace